what's the difference between all the Marmo 3 antennas? Keep it simple, keep it real. Now, um, we've had a lot of um, inquiries and good success with the pointing Marmo 3 antenna. So there's one, of course, there behind me on that um, pink caravan, which I always keep using. And there's, um, there's one here in front of me. Now, both of these are the Mimo 312. So the Dash 12 is really where the difference is. There's a Dash 12, there's a Dash 14, Dash 15, and a Dash 17. What's the difference between them? That, that's a question we get a lot, and um, I'll quickly just want to run through those because there's also reasons to be different. And it's not just like we intuitively might think that higher numbers mean better, or having more features is better, because that's in this case, not the case, at least not from my perspective. So the first thing is, what, I, what, I've, what I've kind of um, reverse engineered, just, just kind of really understand the, um, the thinking behind it. So the 12 or the dash one, two, and I really just want to look at the two, the four, the five, and the seven, the last digit on that number itself. The two has two antennas. This is a MIMO 2x2 antenna. It has two cables that comes into it. This is a perfect antenna for anything like a Nighthawk M5, a Nighthawk M2, even a Nighthawk M1. All the Teltonicas that we sell, so the Teltonica RUT360, RUT240 is a classic example. Also, if you want to go fancy onto the uh, high end, like the RUTX11 and so forth, they all work really well with this antenna if you want to get a 4G connection from the outside of your caravan, such as that one, routed through into your antenna. Now, where it gets confusing, and I'll ask, I'm saying this, but I don't want to create confusion. I just want to say, don't worry about this. So what I'm going to say is something that you don't have to worry about, which is obviously always dangerous to do. The dash 14, the four digits means it's a four by four MIMO antenna. So there's actually four elements in the same form factor. So there's four antennas in there. It is better if you need four antennas. So the upcoming 5G, to be seen, yet to be seen routers, well, you have Cradle Point and other devices that do have that, but some of the stuff is only two by two MIMO. And in that case, if you only have two, a need for two antennas, I would stick to two antennas. I'll explain a little bit later. So the four by four has four 4G slash 5G antennas ready in this, this, this kind of form factor. Um, that I'm just gonna say that first. The, the 15 has five antennas in the same form factor, and the 17 has seven antenna elements or radiators compacted into the same element. So the 4x4 has four 4G antennas slash 5G antennas. The 15 takes a step back. So you have two 4G antennas, two Wi-Fi antennas, and a GPS antenna. That has a certain advantage and it may have a certain disadvantage. Now, if you take a RUT 360, for example, let me just get one. I have one here right behind me. There's four antenna outputs. So two 4G antennas can be connected to the 4x4 MIMO 3-14 and the two Wi-Fi antennas can be connected to the Wi-Fi ports such as on the dash 15. The problem will be, and you need to remember this, you will then take the Wi-Fi antenna to the outside. So in this caravan example that I have on my, um, on my table there, you are now broadcasting your Wi-Fi network to the outside world. If that's what you want, then that is good. If that's not what you want, you just basically want to connect a device from the outside and then connect it in to your, um, to your caravan or to your house or wherever you are. You don't want to do that. You just want to take the two by two antennas or the two wires, go into your modem and then leave this thing on the table as is and connect through these little antennas that you have left. On the 17, that's of course the, um, the top of the range basically, you would have four antennas that you can connect to a proper router so you can have a nice solid connection to an outside router connected into the modem and then again you can connect Wi-Fi to it. But in that case, you are going to route the Wi-Fi so that you basically send your Wi-Fi signal to everything outside your caravan. On the inside, you may not have a connection. Now, there is a solution to that, which is another product that I will discuss in subsequent videos that Pointing has released. That's um, pretty easy to understand if I go through that. Now, what's the problem that I have with um, going too fancy on the numbers where you should stick with what you have? It's all physics. So again, we sit with the same form fact. We always have this little box that we use. If you say you put two antennas in there, two antennas have their space to work, they can do what they want, they don't have any 
uh, basically in, in, in a non-RF technical world, it's like you have breathing space. You can do what you need to do. If you now condense four antennas into the same space, you get it right. I mean, that's obviously what the designers do on this case. But there is going to be four things, four dev devices, four antennas in the same space. So each has a little bit less space to do its job properly. We call it coupling, we call it um, cross-coupling between the antennas. Um, it's a bit like smothering a little bit, so you have less to work with, less space to work with. The 15 is another element, the 17 is another two elements on top of that. So they get it right, it is working well, but there is going to be something that's going to be different. I'd be careful to say uh, inferior, but you will get the best performance. Let's just put it this way. You will get the best performance out of the package that has the least amount of antennas and exactly the amount of antennas that you wanted. That's all. Um, that's really it. So if you need a 2x2, two two, take a 2x2, two two, like the Marmo 3 for 12. Don't go for anything higher just because you feel the urge to have more features. If you don't use those features, they're just going to complicate the two that's already there, that's always going to be in there. So rather, if you want two, take two. If you need four, then take four. Don't go for anything higher if you don't need it. Um, the other thing that I have noticed, and I thought about this, and then I come back to us as RF Shop, we do coaxial cables. This one, the, um, this is the 2x2, two two, the 12, has nice thick cable. It has the 195 cable type. It always comes from the same hole. It always feeds through the same spigot, screw mount, and everything. If you condense the 12 and say, now we need to squash in four, or we need to squash in five cables, or we need to squash in seven cables coming through the same hole, the only way to do that is to make the cable thinner. It's a good way to do it. It gets managed properly, but the cable losses will be more because of the smaller cable. At the end of the day, you have a two meter cable run. Be careful. If you need the 17, use the 17. If you don't need the 17, but you only use the 15, or you only need the 12, only use the 12 because the cable you get coming out of the device itself will be a better cable. So again, that's the same theory as with the antennas, that the space that is limited, you need to squash more in there, everything is going to be smaller. But in physics, an antenna world, we want it to be big. So you're going to sacrifice something. So just keep it simple. Now, uh, there was an interesting comment or inquiry from a customer. So I think this is just worth saying that the, f the dash 12 or the dash 2 at the end or the 4 at the end or the 5 at the end has nothing to do with the technology. These antennas are all 5G compatible. Basically, they all work really well up to 3.8 gigahertz, which is currently the 5G frequency band. Do not feel like the 5 means it's a 5G antenna and the 4 means it's a 4G antenna and the 2 maybe is only a 2G compatible antenna. It has nothing to do with that. Now that I get the question, I look it back and I said, ah, oh, yeah, I understand why the confusion could be like that. Don't worry about it. The 12, the 14, the 15, the 17, all the 4G slash 5G antennas, that's why I keep putting the 5G word in there, is always supported. So the MIMO 3 series, 5G ready. That's all you need to think about that. Those were the thoughts I had on that. So yeah, it's building up to a, <laughs> not a short video again, sorry about that, but it's just something I just really wanted to explain and share. If you have any questions, do let us know. Um, leave a comment at the bottom if you want me to talk more about these little quirks and stuff that, that's out there um, on, on these antennas or any other antennas. So I'm talking about pointing in this case, but uh, if, there, if there are other brands or other manufacturers, if they're not on our website, I could still happily have a look at the review and, and do a bit of an overview of an antenna type. This is not necessarily always going to talk about selling the antenna. It's always going to it's explaining the concept and the advantages and reasons why you want to go for certain things in certain cases. Um, other than that, have a look for the upcoming video, which will be on that um, indoor Wi-Fi repeater as well for caravan setup, so that you can basically get a case where you can Wi-Fi outside and inside. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.